The one believing in the Son has eternal life eternal. The one, however, not obeying the Son, not will see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. Hmm. So to obey, obey the Son, well, the Son's the one that said not to believe the one that, that comes in the wilderness. You know, he was speaking to his actual apostles then because he already knew what was going to take place. They were all destined to go astray for a time, but they he brought them all back, okay? They all overcame the wicked one. And so and, and anyone that truly wants to have eternal life needs to obey, needs to overcome the wicked one. They need to continue in the words that Yahshua taught. Yahshua never taught about this grace that Paul speaks of. Yahshua never said we're no longer under the law. In fact, he said the complete opposite. He came to magnify, to fulfill the law. This is also found in Isaiah 42 prophecy. He um, literally came to remind us to keep the covenant that Yahshua had set before us. Okay. He came to set us free from sin, not just die and be some kind of sick, twisted offering to where people could continue to sin and just, oh, yeah, and daddy no longer sees me. He sees, he sees Joshua. You know, my brother thinks this idiotic thing, which the Bible totally proves his theology wrong. This is what some other dodo bird taught him. And this is why my brother still, you know, remains in sin today. So, and he's a pasture, okay? So he just had a, a child out of wedlock by a witch, by a known devil worshiper, knowing that she was one. And I don't even blame her. I blame him because he took advantage of her while she was homeless and on the streets. So if you don't want to be led astray by these false guides, do the research yourself. Don't depend on the, the pastures and the guides of today. They were prophesied to lead people astray. This is why Yasha made it clear that he is the teacher and for none of them to call themselves teachers. All right. God bless.